Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about vintage inspired beauty products that look pretty on your vanity. So over the years I've been collecting different vintage inspired beauty brands that are kind of vintage replicas or just have that vintage look or just like a really pretty aesthetic that looks pretty on your vanity. So I wanna showcase some of my favorite vintage inspired beauty brands with you. So I've over the last few months I've kind of been collecting different products so I'm just going to start in no particular order. The first one on the list is Adida Von Tees perfume. So this is a rouge perfume. I'm a little bit confused to whether or not she's still selling these because I couldn't find them anywhere besides eBay and I found this one on eBay. And it's a really incredible bottle except you can't really stand it up on your vanity because the end is pointed. But it's really beautiful and it smells like a vintage perfume. It kind of reminds me of a whole bunch of perfumes combined from old Hollywood. Definitely reminds me of the Lancome Maggie Noir perfume, as well as Jicky. There's just a little bit of Shalimar in there. So it's like a combination. It kind of has like a smoky, mysterious vibe to it. I don't know, I really like it. And I wanna try her other ones, so hopefully I can find them. So that is the first item that I bought. And then the second item is from the company Soap & Glory. They have a vast variety of makeup and beauty products. I wanted to try the shower gel because I was out of body wash. And this one smells so good and I just thought it would be nice to try. And I like the vintage packaging too. So I'm excited to try some of their other items too, including body lotion and makeup. And another vintage inspired beauty brand is called The Balm. They have really cute vintage inspired packaging. I wanted to try this Time Bomb face primer, mainly because I find the package to look very Victorian and I just think it's really cute. And this one's really good to wear under your makeup and I've used it a few times and it's really nice. It kind of gives you a flawless face, kind of fills in fine lines and works as a really nice base before you put on your makeup. Next on the list are a few Avon products. So I always buy all the Avon when they come out with their vintage replicas and anniversary edition collections and when they do like throwbacks so I noticed that they had a few new items so obviously I jumped right on it and I got a few items from their collection so I'm going to read about the Iconic Avon collection. So I have one of their catalog and it says Iconic Avon celebrating beauty since 1886. Enjoy a unique collection of products inspired by the rich heritage of a company that began its groundbreaking approach to beauty 134 years ago. The legacy continues with our limited edition, best-selling formulas and exclusive anniversary inspired jewelry pieces, all presented in Avon's iconic designs that are sure to inspire and delight. So the first set I got was this iconic mini lipstick trio and the box is really cute and the reason why I was drawn to these ones because I have some vintage Avon lipsticks and they have similar designs on the outside so I just had to have these for my collection and they're really cute to sit inside your purse and there's three mini shades there's like a nice kind of plum color and there's like a classic old Hollywood red as well as a really nice kind of baby pink color I just love how they're very similar looking to my vintage Avon and they come in a really cute box too and I really want to try their perfumed hair serum. I just love the box and the packaging again, so I needed to try it. I ended up getting the purple one. Purple one is sweet apricot and white floral. I just love the like diamond on top. I just think it's really pretty and the box is really cute. I know this will look really nice on my vanity. Then I wanted to try the perfumed body gel. I wasn't sure how big it was, but it's massive, this thing, and it just looks so pretty on your vanity. It's an iridescent pink lightweight body gel formula with, with a romantic fragrance. So the perfume body gel is an iridescent pink lightweight formula with a romantic fragrance and gives you kind of a luminous look, and it's, it smells so good. It's a really pretty feminine scent, and you can just add a little bit on your chest area, maybe even your neck or whatever you want, and it's just like a really pretty container too. I just love the look of it sitting on my vanity and it's quite big i wasn't expecting it to be that big kind of anniversary collection this one's called studio 1886 so this one has electrifying notes of magnolia white peony and lily of the valley and i really like this one it has a very feminine fresh floral scent and i just like that it was called 1886 and it's kind of um a victorian inspired fragrance and another vintage inspired beauty brand that i love is paul and joe 
I like them because all their ads have cats in it and all the illustrations and you know I'm a crazy cat person so I naturally I'm drawn to Paul and Joe. I wanted to try some of their skincare products so I got their face oil because I'm a huge fan of face oils and this one is a really nice serum it's very moisturizing I just think the white bottle is very pretty and just looks really nice on your vanity and then I wanted to try their cleansing cream because I'm a huge fan of cold creams. This one has a really nice scent to it and it works really well removing makeup and again it just looks really pretty on your vanity. And then they also have like a loose face powder that comes in this really pretty kind of floral vintage inspired container with a poof. And then I really like their moisturizing foundation primer. It really works well as a nice base and again the container is really pretty. They also have their compact face powder. This one's really good and again it has just a really pretty container and this one works really well at just eliminating a little bit of shine and it works perfect in your purse too. And it's just like a really pretty design and it matches the other powder. Another brand that I'm new to but wanted to try is Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics and I was drawn to this because of the vintage inspired packaging so I ended up trying their face powder. I like the pink poof that comes inside. It's a really nice face powder and obviously the packaging is really pretty and does look good on your vanity. And then I also got the pink blush, which I like. It definitely has a retro look to it. And it's this really pretty gold frame, which I thought was really cute. And I also wanted to try their bronzer. This is kind of like a liquid face bronzer. And I use it on my cheekbones. And I just think the container is really pretty too, so I wanted to try it. And the next brand on the list is Anna Sue. I love Anna Sue. I just love her taste and designs, her fashion is amazing, and I've always wanted to try some of her beauty products. So I was looking at her website and I found a few interesting things. I got this really cool, this is black powder container. I just think it looks very Victorian and regal. And it comes with a poof inside and it's just really nice loose powder. And it just sits beautiful on your vanity and the powder is really cute. So you have to buy the powder separate from the actual container, but the container wasn't very expensive. I think it was only $16 and I think the powder was under $30 and you buy them together. And I just think this looks really pretty. It definitely, I don't know, kind of even reminds me of Marie Antoinette or something. And then I want to try some of her skincare. So I got the Rich Lotion. I believe this is, it's kind of like after you wash your face, it's almost like a toner. You put a little bit on a cotton swab and they had a bunch of different ones. I was drawn to this one because of its pink. And again, it kind of just reminds me of like a vintage love potion or something. I just wanted to try it. And then I wanted to try the Anna Sue Rose Body Lotion. I'm a huge fan of roses. This body lotion is interesting. You have to like shake it up before you put it on and it comes out quite liquidy, which I wasn't expecting, but it has this incredible rose scent, which I love. And it goes on liquidy and it feels very moisturizing and nice on the skin. And again, it has that beautiful kind of magical vintage inspired bottle with the flowers on it, which I love. And then there's the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe collection, which I was excited to try. I basically bought it for the packaging, which I'm okay with. I just wanted to try it. There's a bunch of items that I bought from the collection. So I got the Starlit Glow Strawberry Face Serum, which smells amazing. And it's really nice. I've been using it under makeup. And I think all these were really affordable too. And then I wanted to try the Shimmer Dry Oil. This one, I think you can use it on your face or body. I've been kind of using it on my body. And it works really well it gives it a subtle shimmer there's also the luminizing body powder with rosehip oil and this one has a really pretty scent to it and it kind of has like oh, it does smell kind of vintage and it has a feminine scent to it and you can just kind of dab it on your chest or wherever you like and then i got the rose drench refreshing toner and this one has hyaluronic acid in it and rose water and it's really good for refreshing and plumping the skin and then I wanted to try a lip balm. So I got this Coconut Rose Tinted Lip Balm. This one is a really nice pink color. It's very subtle. It's like a nice tinted pink, but it's good on days where you don't want to have like a full on lipstick or if your lips are a little bit chap and you just want a little bit of color. And obviously the packaging is really pretty. And then I wanted to try some of the eye stuff. So I got this eyebrow pencil and it comes with a little mascara wand on the other side. And it's really good for filling in your eyebrows. And then I got two eyeliners, so I got this gold eyeliner, which I thought was really fun, and it has a really nice wand, so it's easy to apply. And then I got the classic black liquid eyeliner to create a Marilyn Monroe look. 
Besame Cosmetics sent me some items from the I Love Lucy collection. So I have the Love Lucy face powder. I really like the container with the little diamonds on it. And the face powder is pretty classic. It's like a nice pressed powder. It has really good coverage. And it's really compact and works well in your purse with the little mirror. It definitely has that vintage inspired look. And they sent me the eyeshadow palette. And I really like this one because it has the brush built in. Some of my favorite shades are obviously the light blue and the purple. I think the other ones are good for blending and creating other looks. So it's kind of a versatile palette, but it is really pretty. I like the mirror, I like the brush. I think the outside packaging's cute, but I would've done something a little bit more fun. But I think it's really pretty. And yeah, it's definitely a collector's item. I like to collect their stuff. A lot of the times I don't even end up using it. I just like to have it. I know that's kind of weird. I'm gonna swatch some of these products for you on my arm so you can see what they look like. And next are these mini iconic Avon shades. So I'm gonna swatch them. And these are the vintage ones. As you can see, they're quite similar, the designs, as the vintage ones. So let's swatch these and see what they look like. And they're quite small. This looks like a nice kind of plum color for fall. This is a really pretty pink. And this is like a classic Hollywood red. And now I'm gonna swatch the I Love Lucy palette and just try some of the colors on my wrist so you can see. I like the pastel ones, like the blues are really pretty. The pink looks pretty and the purple. And I think the other ones could be good Purple's really pretty, I like the purple. And the shimmery blue, it looks like <laughs> most of them are matte. I'm gonna try the gray now. Then the brown. The dark purple is pretty. So that is all the colors. Okay, so I'm going to test out some of the products on my arm. So this is the Starlit Glow Strawberry Face Serum. So I'm going to try this. And just kind of see how it feels on. It has a nice smell to it actually, I like that. And then I'm going to try this Starlit Glow Dry Shimmer Oil. I'm not sure if this is for the face or the body, but I'm going to try a little bit. It does give you a nice glow and it blends in quite well actually. I think it's more for the body. It really does blend in. You can see it on my hand too, it's really shimmery. But it blended in really nice. I'm gonna try some of the luminizing. This is a body powder. It kind of gives you an overall shimmer. You can put it like on your chest or whatever. This one has a really nice smell to it as well. It's kind of like a scented powder. This is the Coconut Rose Tinted Lip Balm. So I'm going to try some of this. It's a really pretty pink color. As you can see, the color is very subtle. But it's like a nice tinted lip balm. I'm going to try some of these eyeliners. Oh, this one is like a gold shimmer. This is cool. really like the pointed tip. And then of course the black one, kind of a classic, it has a really nice point to it, I like the wand on that. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these brands and which ones are your favorite. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.